What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on two things on the Corvette. The first thing being that when I'm driving the car uh, full throttle, when I go into fourth gear, the pedal wants to stay on the floor. Now, uh, a couple people have that I've talked to about this, including my tuner, have said that we need to remove the assist spring. So the clutch assist spring that's on the clutch itself. It just makes the clutch a little easier operating for people that are driving, uh, makes the clutch a little lighter. So we're going to be removing that. The other thing we're going to be doing is we're going to flush the reservoir where the clutch fluid is. So a lot of times on these cars, you will look at your clutch fluid and it looks like Coca-Cola. And it is not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be nice and clear. So we are going to flush that and we are going to be using the Ranger method. Now, if you guys are um, on the Corvette forums or um, if you have a Corvette, I'm sure you've probably heard of the Ranger method of flushing this. So basically what you do is you um, suck the old stuff out, you put new in, and you repeat this process. Then you pump the clutch. So I'm going to show you the process. But anyway, we're going to start there. So some of the things that we are going to need are we're obviously going to need a method to get the old fluid out. Uh, we're going to do this first. I'll talk about what we're going to need for the actual clutch assist spring next. But the on to clean the reservoir out, we're going to need a couple things. Now, I normally have used this to extract the old fluid out. I'm just not a huge fan of it because it requires two hands. I went and bought like a turkey baster. So uh, and I'll list this stuff down below. But I'm going to be going back with the stock fluid that came in the car. It's just AC Delco fluid, uh, dot four brake slash clutch fluid. Uh, so I got some of that. I also got a basically a container to hold the, the fluid. So I'm not pointing it out of here. I can actually have a little more control when I'm putting it in because this stuff is very corrosive. You don't want to get it on your paint. And then of course I have an old container to put the old stuff, some gloves and some towels. So let's set up and I'll show you what the process is. The first thing we're going to do is obviously take the cap off and set it aside and then we're going to take either the extractor that i showed you or this turkey baster put it in the bottom and we're going to suck all the fluid out and then we're going to put it in our container now once we've done that set this aside and I've got a couple of towels to set it on. You're going to take a towel, a paper towel on the inside of this and get this nice and clean. Now, once we've done that, you can clean. A lot of people clean this off. Um, I generally wait until the last the very last to do this. But once you've got that finished, now we're going to pour the new fluid in, filling it up to the full line. Now we're going to put the cap back on. And it doesn't matter that it's not facing the right way. And we're going to get in the car and where you're going to pump the clutch pedal 30 to 40 times. Once you've pumped the clutch pedal 30 to 40 times, you need to come back out, take the cap back off, and take a look at your fluid. Now, if it's super dark, generally that means you're going to have to do this several times. Mine is not too bad. I am going to do it a couple more times probably. It is a little darker than what I'm pouring in, and that's ultimately what you're looking for is you're wanting to look, it's wanting to look just like what you're putting into it. So if it's darker at all, then you need to keep repeating this process until it comes out just like this. So it does use a lot of fluid to do this but uh, it is just part of the process and it keeps the clutch in good working order. So we're just going to repeat this again.
After the second time, it's looking a little better. I think three times is all it's going to take here. took three times filling it and two times extracting it in order to get it back where it needs to be. Now make sure you clean out all your tools because like I said, this stuff is very corrosive. You don't want to have it on any painted surfaces, basically anywhere. But now that we're finished, we're going to move on to the inside. I'm going to show you how to remove that clutch assist spring. So under the dash by the clutch, up on top, you'll see a spring and um, that's it right there. So we're going to be removing that spring. All you need for that is just a pair of pliers. Now, uh, chances are getting it back in would be really tough, but um, getting it out is fairly simple. All we're going to do, like I said, is take a pair of pliers and remove the spring, and that should give us um, a little more pressure as far as the pedal coming back. Well, as you can see, it's completely out. There is a channel back here behind that it sets in as well, but uh, completely out of the way. So we'll have to test it and see how it works. I will say, guys, sitting here in the car, and it's rainy and nasty out, so I'm not going to take the car out today. I will give you an update down the road, but sitting in the car, just pushing the clutch in, it feels about the same. You know, it might be a little harder to push down, but not a lot. And from what I read and what I hear from other people, um, like I said, my tuner talked about this, but he said that it makes the clutch feel more natural. And um, like I said, I can't really tell a lot of difference, you know, especially since I just um, bled the clutch before I did this. It doesn't feel really that much harder to push down. So we will, uh, well, when we get a better day, we'll take it out and do some testing on it and see if that helped our problem. Well, guys, that wraps it up. Hopefully this addresses my issue. I think that it probably will for now. I am just avoiding a clutch because that is a huge undertaking and I'm not looking forward to doing that. But um, the weather is absolute trash today. It's raining, nasty, so I'm not gonna take the car out. But if it were good, I would take this thing out and beat the piss out of it and I will do that. So uh, stay tuned for that video because we will be taking it out and see if that addresses our issue. But wanted to cover these two things together. Uh, chances are you've probably seen the Ranger method of changing the fluid before. Uh, that's pretty common but a couple people I noticed were asking where the clutch assist spring was and the basically the process of removing it and it's not too hard it took it, it would literally take you less than two minutes to it takes me longer to fold up and get under the dash than it took to remove that actual spring and that spring is nasty it has stuff all over it just probably to keep it from squeaking but I did keep it don't throw that away if you ever decide to put it back in uh, it is something that you can do it is reversible but guys if you like this video if you like this content please smash that thumbs up button if you're not subscribed go down there and hit the subscribe button that way you uh know every time we drop something new and uh well stay tuned because we got more planned for this car and all the other ones mm -hmm.